welcome to one of Kelly's trips, tips and things. And here we are, we are at the Sky Garden. We are, and this, look at the view, it is fantastic. It's amazing. So anyway, we will do the view in just a little bit. What we'll do is we'll walk around the garden first to let you know what it's about. And then we will do some uh, vlogging from the view. So, talk us through. You go first and All right. I'll follow you. Well, let's you do, have to see let's do the bar area first, I think. So, we've just come out of the lift here. So, as you know, we're at the top of the walkie-talkie. And we have just arrived. We've just passed the security checks. So the security checks are quite, well, I say intense. They're airport-style security checks. So you will need to check all your, any bags and things through. And you're coming through here. And you will come through to this area. Look at this. So this is the Sky Garden. There's the cranes you can see from the original block when we were on the ground. And this is the cafe area. And you can go out onto that balcony, you can see everybody out there. We'll go out there in a moment. There's the cafe or the bar. And if we monitor around this way, there's the garden, the actual garden you can see. And you can actually go up the stairs around the corner there from here. As you can see people going up and they go all the way up here and they will go all the way around to the other side. So what we'll do, Zooming back to you. Oh yeah, different plants, isn't it? There you are. Oh. Bird of paradise. That guy just went wow, so he was impressed. There we go. Now then, let us go for a little. Sorry, I was going to say, it must conduct some type of heat. I mean, the aircon's going at the moment, they've got the doors open. But in order to keep these plants going and all that, it must really conduct some heat with this plant. Well, it's like a greenhouse. I mean, you can see from there, it's just solid glass all the way around. Do you know what? As weird as it sounds, it would actually be quite interesting to be here when it's a thunderstorm to see what it's like to hear the rain hit those leaves. Anyway, let's go around, shall we? Yeah, we go around. I'll just I'll mention a couple of things. If you want to eat in one of the restaurants here, which is further up, you don't have to book in advance. I mean, you have to book the restaurant in advance, but you don't have to book a separate entry to come here for free. Um, but if you just want to come to the Sky Garden for free, that you have to reserve online. But if you're going to eat at one of the restaurants upstairs, then to come here is free also. But you don't have to book the free visit. Here we go. So, here we go. I'll lead the way then, shall I? Alright, so they do these really nice sofas. You can just sit there and outlook onto London. But we are, like I said, we will do the views in a moment. So these are the stairs. So there are quite a few stairs. If you are thinking of coming here, you don't have to come around here as well, but you may as well just to see the garden. And look, the views are amazing. You can just about make out some pools. If I zoom in, there's some pools. There's the River Thames. And there's London there, so let's carry on. Here we are. And these are all the plants. You can hear a lot of languages being spoken, so you see it's very popular tourist attraction. So we're going up the, uh, up the stairs. I'm trying to show you there, the London. Now, although I'm not very good with heights, you do have this barrier in between you and the view, so you do feel safe. And it is very warm in here. There's the BT Tower, you can just about make out in the background. And there's a little note there to tell you as well about that. Oh yeah, BT Tower. So you can see. Here we are. Seating area. Seating area here, this lady's posing. And there's more there. There are the restaurants. So you can actually have a restaurant there, look, overlooking. Look at that view. That is amazing. And you can see the garden area here. I usually like to walk So we're going to carry on up the stair. So there's more plants here. As I said, it's, it's really humid in here. There's the view. We're going up to the top. There's a little walkway here you can go through and look round. 
which is what I wanted to show you. So we're coming around the back of the end of the uh, Sky Garden. And there, look, you can now make out, look at this. There is the Shah, sorry, the uh, Gherkin, not the Shah. There's the Gherkin, there's the cheese grater. And those buildings look so close. Yeah, look, if I do that, touch on top of the gherkin. That's fantastic. And here we are. And there's another bar at the end here. It is really hot in here. Because it's nice and thin outside. Yeah, so they look, there's the sun. And it's beaming in here. So it's like a huge greenhouse, essentially. I mean, luckily it's not as hot as a greenhouse because they've got the aircon going. But I tell you, if they didn't have the aircon going... Ooh. Oh, it would be hot. It would be hot. But what's great, like I said, so that's your backdrop. Look at that. That's your city backdrop. Absolutely fantastic. We'll get a bit closer here. I just wanted to show you this as well. So they do actually grow plants all throughout the Sky Garden, hence the name of the garden. But you can actually have... Yeah, please do not stand on the bench. I'm not going to stand on the bench. So you can actually sit on the bench here, look. And it tells you, leading hall building. Yeah, leading hall building, also known as the cheese grater. As I keep, well, that's what it is known as. And there we are, more views of London. There we are. So if you're interested in coming to the bar, that's what you have. Do you have iced tea? Peach summer wild garden cocktail of the day. So eight pounds for peach summer, eleven pounds for cocktail of the day, and then you've got the sharing boards. So you've got various foods for one person, thirteen pounds fifty. Two for twenty-four pounds. Various cheeses, seafoods, vegetarian platters, dessert platter, and there you go. That's what else you can order from the bar. So teas, coffees, pastries. Uh, sandwiches with a bottle of drink. So, not unreasonable. You can bring, well, we say you can bring food up. Tell about your experience. What it was, I had a frappuccino in my hand, and as I was coming through the airport like security, where they, you know, put all your things through a scanner and all that, I said, Oh, can I bring this in? And she said, No. Now, as far as I'm aware, only on the website is there you can't bring alcohol drinks. But as I look around, people have got their bottles of Coke in their bag, they've got their sandwiches in their bag. I mean, I've got biscuits in my bag, or cookies in a US term, in my bag, and they didn't say anything about that. But I think if you have a bottle of drink, like Coke or Fanta, I think that's okay. But I had sort of like a frappuccino, and she said no. But maybe if I hadn't said anything, like, can I bring this, I probably could have brought it. So, yeah, probably. Anyway, let's carry on. So there's your bar. There's the restaurants above. And they do have lifts here for disabled access if you do want to come here um, and need the lift. So here we are. Come around here. So we now come around the back end of the Sky Garden. And we can see the view. This is the view of the city. Look at that, that is fantastic. There you, go. you can see Canary Wharf just there if I zoom in. That's such a fantastic view. And like I said, even if you're afraid of heights, which I am, you do feel safe because you've got this barrier here. Look at the Tower of London. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a Tower of London there. Just let me zoom in. There we go. There. And it's free. This is the thing, this is what's so good about this, it is free. As long as you book in advance and they have the time slots available, it's free. And these are just, you know, there's not many free things, free touristy things that you can do. But, oh my god, this is one of them and how great is it? Look at it. Yeah. I mean, it's such a gorgeous day. And if you decided that you wanted to come at sunset, I'm sure equally at sunset it would be so beautiful. Anyway. Let's have a little wander down. So we're gonna we're kinda of coming down. So we come down the we come up the other end. We're coming down this end. So
So you can just see all the plants in the fauna here. Now I'm gonna just walk in here so you can get a view, an idea. Look at that. Those that family are sitting down, you can just see all the fauna. And it's really nice. These are these plants are obviously well looked after and obviously and because they get direct sunlight are growing quite well I mean the thing is we I booked it at the last minute normally you have to book it a bit in advance but um, because we're going for dinner later I just thought on the off chance and there was one available at 145 but it was only one slot I went in about two minutes later and then they had three slots available for one o'clock so I booked two of those slots and here we are. Excellent. Well, also just goes to show that you can, you know, if you keep trying, you will get, hopefully get a slot eventually. There we are. So again, there's Tower London. You can just about make out Tower Bridge there. There we are. Let's carry on down the stairs. More views of London, there's Tower Bridge. Is it gonna test my um, London geography now? But the garden is really impressive. You know, it's all built on this slope as well. There's the restaurant there. You can eat your meal overlooking this fantastic view and more plants as well. So they have a mixture of uh, different types of plants. And obviously you've got the potted plants here and you can just sit on these wooden blocks if you want to and overlook. There we are. So we're just coming back down. There is a nice little view of the cafe or the bar I should say and area to sit. Here we are coming down the end. We just to make out Tower Bridge, and there's a GLA building just opposite there. And back to our sofas. Yes. Right, so we'll stop filming here now. So you've gone, we've gone up and down. We'll do a special vlog outside. So we're going to enter outside now of the yes. building. Okay. Or we'll exit outside. Yes. <laughs> See you in a bit. See you in a bit.